Добрий день, everybody! If we haven't met yet, my name is Masha. I'm Ukrainian and one thought hasn't left me lately. A few days ago I woke up thinking someone can create content every day or twice a week and I can disappear for a month. Why is that? I realized that I wanted to do something about it. This thought didn't give me peace. So I got dressed and went for a walk. I always do that when I need to think. So I invite you to take a walk with me and I'll tell you about my thoughts and conclusions. This is a kashtan. The biggest symbol of Kyiv. Many of you asked me how I am now, and thank you for these questions. Um, I'm fine. I think I quickly adapted to the situation. I'm okay. I'm just fine. I'm just fine. Last three nights I slept in my bed, and it was great. <laughs> and it has a positive effect on my mood so here i am i'm smiling i am calm yes it is still dangerous in kiev but i can't be anywhere but here i felt oh, oh my god no <laughs> do i plan to leave ukraine Again, no, I don't, but I can't know for sure. Press. Say hi to everyone. They don't like me. By the way, this is my favorite large botanical garden in Kyiv. Different parts of it represent the nature of different regions of Ukraine and even other countries. My favorite is the Asian part of the park, from which we will start our walk. a beautiful place but isn't my favorite my favorite is this is the most beautiful place in this park this is a meditation and yoga gazebo one of my favorite peaceful places in a noisy crowded a heavily built up city Here I have the perfect place to think or slow down. By the way, here once I met a stranger with whom I had one of the most magical conversations of my life about faith. And interestingly, we didn't even introduce ourselves and our conversation started with his question, are you coming here to meditate? I actually come here to think, and that's what I thought about that day. I know that consistency is my biggest problem. Also, no, I'm consistently inconsistent. Any YouTube expert will tell you that consistency is the key to success. It's necessary to release two to four videos per month, and it sounds so logical, but I can't do it like that. From time to time I see in the comments that you like my energy. Am I a positive and energetic person every day? Mm -mm. No at all. Just like you wouldn't call me hyperproductive. I shoot videos only when I have enough energy and inner resources to share them. Because this is my hobby. And hobbies aren't engaged in under compulsion, because then it's work. That's why when I feel bad or even just so-so, I disappear. And I'm talking not only about YouTube, but also about life in general. I rarely meet friends when I'm not feeling mentally well. 
what can I say about video filming? Every video is like a big event for me. I can't and I don't plan to learn how to force myself to film. That's why when I don't have the strength and inspiration, I don't film. probably make sense to make videos about anything and in different moods, but I can't get rid of the thought that everyone has a lot of going on in their lives, even without my personal drama. But at the same time, when other people share some problems and experiences in the video, I'm okay with that, but I can't bring myself to do it. I'm sure you see a lot of sad content about the war in Ukraine, because most days we are sad and have difficult times. And I really don't want to become another sad voice. I see a lot of beauty in Ukraine. You know how I like to talk about everything I love in my country. Just to be clear, I'm not telling you about this to make you write Masha, everything is fine with you, you are doing great. Not at all. I just want to explain where I'm missing. Because of the war, when you don't hear from me for a month, I see questions in the comments asking if I'm alive or okay. It's a bit surreal to be honest, but I totally understand you. Also, I'm feeling so grateful that you care about me. I don't want you to worry. Listen. It's um, sad to admit, but I often tortured myself for taking time and not making videos. Because Ukrainian soldiers fight on the battlefield without days off. Now I try very hard not to do that, because it doesn't help at all, but only makes it worse. I even decided that every time I catch myself thinking this, I should make a small donation to the needs of our armed forces. Because that's what really helps, not my mental torment. Yeah, I feel like I have something to talk about with a psychiatrist. And someday I definitely will. Now I don't know if I will learn consistency soon or not, but as we say in Ukraine, I'm lying in this direction. And here's another thought about my YouTube situation. I haven't yet learned to understand what content about Ukraine interests you. As you can see, I don't have any huge viral videos. Well, let's say 18,000 views is definitely an incredible amount. But who will be surprised by those numbers on YouTube? And this is a sign for me that I'm missing something. So far, I have only guesses as to what exactly. I suspect that often what seems interesting to me isn't always interesting to everyone. I can see it in the views statistics. And it's okay, I get it. Therefore, I'm asking you to help me understand what you are interested in about life in Ukraine. And by the way, subscribe if you haven't already. I will really take your ideas for the video, so don't miss it. my problem isn't only in topics. I understand that and I still need to learn how to write intriguing titles and make better thumbnails. I'm already moving in that direction. Trust me, I am. However, it's still difficult to see the progress. Smells like nothing. 
In general, although it seems to me that nothing works out, I still feel grateful for what I have. I can shoot videos and chat with you in the comments. This brings me great joy. To be honest, I don't really have anything to complain about. I'm physically healthy and I have a place to live. I have two gorgeous cats. Gorgeous cats. The world didn't take a life of a single person that I know. And I know I will deal with all difficulties. I'm sure you are too. Guys, I'm just freaking scared of cliché. How you call it? I have to google it. My friend was beaten by a tig here a couple of years ago and she contracted a Lyme disease or Borreliosis. Borreliosis. So that's why I'm so afraid of ticks. I is evil. I hope I will return home without ticks. I'm walking and think that it is ticks empire, ticks universe. Fearless people, little people, kids. I want to go there, but ticks, 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 ticks. By the way, there are two ways to support my channel. The first is to give this video a thumbs up and the second is to buy me a coffee i have zero monetization on this channel so your help is huge thank you i'm an awful singer but who cares not me thank you for walking with me see you in next video everybody hey.